Recently, Trello came out with a pretty big update and it changed the user interface and what you can do with Trello now. So in today's video, we're going to explore it all over on the laptop and give you an idea of how you can best use it every single day. Today's video is a partnership and collaboration with Trello. You can find out more about Trello below, getting access to it and finding out more of the details and really activate the new Trello abilities that we're gonna show you in this video. So. Thanks very much. We're going to dive into this and explore Trello in much more depth. So here we are with Trello. And as you can imagine, it is a new user interface and a way to better manage your tasks. We're going to start with the general navigation and abilities and get going with how to really get started with this. So with all areas, you can create a board in Trello and a board can be modified with a background and with a or a color scheme to help bring it to life. Now I can do this beautiful background here and I can call this one board example. Now if I press create, it's going to show in this workspace here. And as you can see, it's already given me some indications about how to connect up Jira. We're going to explore that a little bit later in this video. So you may notice down here in the navigation area, you can see that there's a few different experiences. There's the regular board abilities, there's a planner ability, and there's an inbox ability. These are like sort of modular experiences. And we're just gonna switch off the inbox and the board ability because this is what you know and love in Trello already and it's sort of enhancing itself already. So we're gonna start with just explaining the basics of the board. So you can create a list. For example, in this one, you could add a to do, doing, done, and you can add cards below each of your lists. So for example, it could be something simple like clean the car and you can go into your items and add a description add labels, add a due date, for example, um, and save it, as well as add checklists, which might help break down the task, add other people and attachments. Now here you can also do things like mirroring, which we'll show you later, as well as archiving, moving, copying, and joining if you've got multiple people. Now you can drag stuff across a uh, list, which means it's uh, Kanbanized, which is perfect for organizing that. Now let's open up the inbox. The inbox area is a personal space and it isn't tied to any specific Trello board. And this means it's perfect because you can drag cards in from your inbox to absolutely any board within your workspace. The inbox is an additional area to capture things that you need to do. So for example, it could be clean house and I've added that item here. Now, like I did with the card a moment ago, I can open it up and I can see all of the details as part of that. Now, cleaning the house can be uh, stored inside of this inbox area. I can even narrow down based on certain due dates and card statuses, but I can then most importantly drag items into the board to organize them for later. I won't in this case because I don't need to, but if I wanted to, I could go even further with this. Now there is an ability in the inbox area to capture stuff from Slack, Microsoft Teams, email as well, and it's all really, really powerful. And you can see you can access this here. All you need to do is copy that uh, by emailing using the same email address associated to the Trello account that you have, or you can connect up Slack or Microsoft Teams from here. Now, what's nice as well is the uh, inbox area itself can have its own background. That's just something some people might not know about it already. You can add in custom one, I believe if you're part of the premium too. You can also see that there is uh, something called an Atlassian intelligence activated to help summarize the content. So if you email in something from your email address, it means that it will help to summarize it and make more sense of it, if that makes sense. Now you can see here that I demonstrated how you can drag something from the inbox to a board, but you can also do that with the plan of view. So for example, today is June 24th, uh, Tuesday. Uh, I can drag an item like clean the house into the calendar straight away. This means I can extend it, make it bigger, and I can click into it and I can see that it's part of the inbox board. Now, if I wanted to, I could go into the item and I could move it. So in this case, I could move it to the to-do area and move it to position two. And you can see that the board location changes for this one and it's no longer in the inbox over here. So this is a great way to start uh, organizing your calendar and you can go over to here and uh, connect it with your popular calendars. In this case, I have my calendar attached to it, meaning it will bring in things like your Google Calendar events, allowing you to join them and open the event in a new tab. 
which is perfect for meetings or whatever you're working on. The calendar area is also a little bit more flexible, meaning you can really break it down to what um, you want to structure it as. There's a, a area where you can just drag an item on and it will create a focus block for you. But this is incredibly powerful if you pair the planner with the board removing the inbox. So in this case, I can take the items that are in my to-do area and time block them pretty instantly, which means that within a couple of moments, I've already got a task I can do on my list. So here I've added a new item and I can even link the card to the focus time. So I can add multiple cards as part of a focus block on the calendar. So it doesn't just need to be a period of time to do stuff. So for example, if I just remove these focus times just for the example's sake. Another benefit to Trolley Planner is, again, it isn't tied to any specific board, so you can add cards from different boards across your workspace, which makes it a great way to start planning and using multiple boards as the source for your planner. And I went and created a house, or I called it save. So this can be a great way to plan and view your boards at the same time, whilst keeping work in mind, which can be incredibly helpful. So when it comes to the other features, there's a mobile widget function, which allows you to quickly capture while on your mobile device. This makes it helpful to see your tasks, capture ideas and notes all in one location. This is great for team collaboration, project management and task synchronization. There's also a feature called Jira Lists, allowing you to sync Jira directly into your Trello account, meaning you can have Jira tickets brought into a relevant area of your Trello and to be able to keep them live and updated as your team collaborate them on real time. And that's one of the benefits of Trello and Jira both being an Atlassian company is they're going to be deeply integrated. So that was a little bit of an overview of Trello as an inbox, a planner, AI, and with the integrations with Slack, Microsoft Teams, and email. The functions can be great for organizing and planning, making things much more actionable, and visualizing them in your calendar. And it's a great way to turn and move and monitor how you work. So thanks to Trello for sponsoring today's video. Hopefully that gave you a good overview of everything that you need to know about this app. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll talk to you soon.